Hi guys, hope everybody's doing great. A few thoughts today about sucking and the issue of when you are nursing your baby and how you can know whether your baby's actually eating or just sucking and basically using your breast like a pacifier, okay? Now, one of the reasons I think that many moms prefer to feed their babies using bottles is that it's more of a precise thing. It's easy to know how much milk the baby has actually consumed. With nursing, this is actually a bit trickier. There's no precise way to know exactly how much milk your baby has consumed. And as we all know, one of the things that doctors do or lactation consultants when they're worried about a baby's weight gain is to weigh the baby before the mother has nursed the baby and then after the mother has nursed the baby. But this too can be a very imprecise science because the baby might have decided to go to the bathroom. So you still don't know exactly how much milk was consumed at that feeding. So, one of the things I've started to realize as I've had all my babies and spent a lot of time nursing them and tried to avoid basically having them just hang on and use me like a pacifier is that a good thing that you can really try to do is listen. Listen to the baby and try to distinguish between the sound of the baby sucking, swallowing the milk and having the milk pass down through your baby's throat and the sound of the baby just sucking for comfort. And I also wanted to tell you guys that one of the things that I've found out through trying to research this, and I really like a very well-known expert, Brazelton, on this topic, is that people have analyzed this whole thing about babies and how they suck and how their mouth actually moves when they suck. So what Brazelton says is that there are indeed two types of sucking. There are non-nutritive sucking, whereby the baby is using the front of her mouth and she's licking and she's comforting herself, she's soothing herself. And the other kind of sucking, which is nutritive sucking, sucking in order to have the milk pass down her throat. And with this other kind of sucking, the baby's actually using the back of her tongue and she's using the top of her throat. And she's using that to power this milk down. Think about it, it's like a pump. She's got a, this tiny little baby's gonna suck and pump all this milk down into her. So that is the nutritive sucking. And in my view, this is what you can hear. You can actually hear if this is happening. And this makes a huge, huge difference for a nursing mom, especially in the early days, because you can avoid hours and hours and hours of having that baby sit on your breast and just suck in a nutritive way. Now, one other tiny, tiny little detail that I wanna add here. From what I have read, some experts do think that there is a value to this non-nutritive sucking because what the baby's actually doing is getting small, teeny little bits of hind milk, which is a very valuable form of milk, which is very high in calories and fat and very important for babies. And we'll talk about this in other videos, how you want to try to reach the hind milk. So if you are having an issue with weight gain with your baby, make sure you talk to your doctor about this. I feel that my baby's full, my baby's burped, my baby's awake, she doesn't seem to want any more milk, should I just let her hang out a little bit there and get a little more of this hind milk? Is, it, is this something that I need to do? If your doctor says, no, you're fine, you're feeding enough, your baby's getting a nice full feed, you don't have to worry about this, and you're in this situation where you're nursing your baby and you feel that your baby's full and she is doing the non-nutritive sucking for comfort on your boob, here's what you can do. You take your pinky finger, as I always advise, sorry, this is not my pinky finger, a little distracted here, you wet your pinky finger in a glass of cold water, you insert it between the baby's mouth and your breast to break the suction, and you take your baby off, and you know, once you've offered your breast again and your baby says, thank you very much, I'm not interested, that at least for now, your job in nursing your baby and providing nutrition is done.